after I completed doing the whole herringbone design, I put another sheet of plywood over the top and added some weights to keep everything pressed down. So the next step is you're going to want to flip it over. I'm going to take my AccuCut, line it up to the end of my piece of plywood, and every edge I'm just going to rip the excess um, panels off at the exact same line as my plywood. I'm going to go ahead and hit this uh, top with the belt sander at 150 grit uh, just to get them a little bit more even and then I'll follow it up with uh, putting all the brad nail holes and then 150 grit with the uh, random random orbital sander. So I'll save you guys uh, this part of the video and stay tuned for the next part. Um, you know, I didn't go crazy on sanding because I want this piece to look rustic and kind of distressed a little bit. Um, not just perfect and immaculate. That's just the look and style I'm going for. So you can see some of the mill marks, um, some dings and stuff that I just chose to leave, leave in there. Generally it's flat. You can set a coffee cup on there or a coffee mug, I'm sorry, a drink. You're not gonna have any issues. Um, I think it gives it some character. So for this stain, I'm gonna use golden mahogany um, and then the main color is gonna be dark walnut. I really, I wanted to try this uh, with the gold mahogany in the center of each plank just to give it some uh, dimension so you can really tell how the heron bones uh, pattern is and it could, it'll kind of pop out. So, and you can really use uh, like a blue, a gray, um, whitewash. I think this heron bone and this style coffee table looks good with anything. So I got it all stained up, I flipped it over, gave it a super light uh, sanding, just smooth all the stuff out. Um, this isn't wet, it's just stained. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. Extend three quarters of an inch on each side for the trim piece that goes this way. So 48 inches plus an inch and a half to count for three quarters of an inch on each. For the trim, what we're gonna do is, uh, remember we had a three quarter inch overhang on each side. So that way the inner trim piece um, will butt up and all you had to do is cut the inner trim piece to whatever the width was, um, 24 inches in this case, or you can do uh, 45 degree miters. That'll look a little bit nicer. Um, but so what I want to do to set this up is get my tape measure, measure in three quarters of an inch, put a little line with a pencil. Okay. So when I go to put this on, all I have to do is line the edge up with my three quarter it, three quarter inch uh, pencil line and uh, then I can glue it, shoot it in place, and know where to reference this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue it, shoot them, go around the table, and then uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. Guys, 